Hello everyone. In this video, we are discussing the exercise 6.1 of NCRT Mathematics textbook of class 9. That means the chapter number 6, first exercise. The chapter name is Lines and Angles. Let's go through the questions first. This is the first question. In figure 613, lines AB and CD intersect at O. If angle AOC and uh, angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degree and angle BOD equal to 40 degree, find angle BOE and reflex angle COE. So a figure also given here. Uh, so let's discuss this question. Here, this is discussed, this is given us two lines are intersected at the point O. So the lines which are intersected at the point O are on the line segment or the line AB and line CD. So this O is a common point of both the line segments AB or the lines AB and CD. So that we can say their vertically opposite angles were formed. Then what else is given? Two angles, that means angle AOC and angle BOE together gives some 70 degree. Angle AOC means this angle, angle AOC plus angle BOE, BOE means this angle. This angle together gives 70 degree measurements. So we can write down the thing which is given angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degree. Then one more thing is given angle BOD is equal to 40 degree. Angle BOD is equal to 40 degree. That is this angle that how measurement 40 degree. Then what we want to find angle BOE and reflex angle COE. Angle BOE means the angle which is required to find is angle BOE. So this angle we want to find. And angle COE. COE, not this angle. We have to find that is a reflex angle. So reflex angle means this other side. So I shall take another color. So this is angle COE. This angle COE, reflex angle COE. So this COE, I have marked here in using green color. This COE and this red marked angle, both this angle I want to find. Then using the given data, okay, one more thing that is given angle BOD, angle BOD is equal to 40 degree. Then using that data, we can find the measurement of angle COA. The reason is that they were vertically opposite angles. So we can find that is since they are vertically opposite. And so you can find angle COE also, sorry, COA, angle COA is equal to 40 degree. The reason is that is vertically opposite, that is vertically opposite of angle BOD is equal to 40 degree. That's already given. That's why angle COA is also equal to 40 degree. Then with regards to angle COA, COA or AOC plus 70 degree gives uh, plus BOE gives 70 degree. So we can write from this statement. So from the first statement, angle AOC and angle COA are same. Okay, so we can write, so first statement implies, from the first statement, we can directly rewrite this as angle 40 degree plus angle BOE. This is implication from first statement, angle BOE is equal to 70 degree then 
you can solve this as a simple equation so angle boe is the unknown angle that is equal to 70 minus 40 degree you will get 30 degree so angle boe is equal to 30 degree so this is a one of the answers it is requested required here to find so angle boe we have find so its answer we have next we have to find angle coe how to find angle coe using this given data let's look on the figure and uh, think about how to find that angle coe is a reflex angle so that is a sum of these old angles so clearly you can see that ab is a straight line from the question it is clear that it is mentioned ab as a straight line you can see in the question angle or uh, ab the line ab is a straight line so angle aob is a straight angle so you can find you can write as angle aob is equal to 180 degree that is a straight angle reason that is straight angle and and reason ab is straight line ab is straight line then what is the use of that uh, that information uh, for finding reflex angle coe you know angle coe is sum of all these things sum of what angle coe i can write this as angle coe reflex angle not uh, angle coe that is actually a reflex angle coe you can write this Reflex angle COE is equal to, let me write here, reflex angle angle COE is equal to, that is sum of angle COA plus angle COA plus angle AOB plus angle BOE. So these three are known values. So you know the values of these three angles. So angle COA, we have already find the uh, measurement of angle COA that is vertically opposite with the angle BOD which is given. So angle COA is equal to 40 degree. Then angle AOB is equal to a straight line that is a straight line, straight angle, its value is 180 degree. Then Angle BOE, BOE is the angle which we have find as 30 degree. Here we have found the value of AOB. You can see the angle AOB value here. So you can add that value also plus 30 degree. So adding these all three things, three angles, you can find that value. You can find the reflex angle COE how measurement sum of these three measurements that is 40 plus 180 plus 30 what is answer 250 degree 250 degree is the measurement of angle reflex angle coe that's the way we are solving this first question now let's discuss the second question in figure 614 lines x y and m and intersect at o if angle poy is equal to 90 degree and a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 find c and just refer the figure figure also given 14th figure of sixth chapter so this is given us an intersection of two line segments xy and mn the line segments were mentioned in this question to identify there is a uh, where to identify which are the vertical opposite pair of angles that is the purpose of that is one of the purpose of mentioning the lines or the name of the lines mentioned in the question so these line segments here intersected are xy and mn these two are intersect at the point o so o is the common point of these both of the line segments then one angle is given that is angle poy that is a right angle POY, its measurement is given as 90 degree. 
the measurement is marked we are using the symbol of uh, right angle then a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3 and two angles marked a and b and the ratio between these two angles are given as 2 is to 3 okay we have to find the value of c here we have to think how to find this there are uh, different methods we can follow we can find out this answer using different methods so this angle c angle c is actually the vertical opposite angle the of angle m o y angle m o y you can see this angle m o y here m o y means this angle angle m o y and the value the angle marked as angle c is angle x o n both of these are vertically opposite so for finding the value of c you have to find the value of its vertically opposite angle you can find the value of c by finding the value of vertically opposite angle so vertically opposite angle is uh, the sum of angle a plus angle p o y among these two angle p o y is given as 90 degree so you have to find a only here you have to find a then you can add with 90 you will get that value of c then what is another way to find the same question so this uh, there is another way we have to solve this question is here you can see that angle b and angle c are linear pair because m and is a straight line that is from the question you will get the clue so you can see m and is a straight line so that uh, the ray which is dividing the straight line into uh, two parts so the linear pairs are this angle b and angle c are linear pair so angle b plus angle c you will get the answer 180 degree so this is the second method among this if you are finding the value of b if you know the value of b or if you find the angle the value of b we can find the value of c using subtracting the value of b from 180 degree so 180 degree minus angle b you will get the answer for value c here you have to find angle c then you can find angle c if you find angle b here you will get angle c or using the first method if you find angle a using that uh, you can add with uh, 90 degree and can find angle c so let's uh, go through the first method how to find angle a let's think in this first case we have to find angle a if you are following in second way you have to find angle b okay anyway we have to find a or b let's find a and b now how to find a and b what is given about what is the data about a or b is given here the ratio between a and b is given as 2 is to 3 so using that we can find the angle a and b so what is the another hint we have you can see another hint is this angle a and b together makes uh, a supplement of angle p o y because angle p o y is 90 degree the supplement of angle p o y in the line segment x y is p o x so angle p o x is equal to 90 degree how you will get that because it is a supplement of the reason is since it is supplement of angle p o y and and supplement of angle POY and angle POY is equal to 90 degree. Uh, measurement of angle POY is also given that is 90 degree. Therefore, you can find that implies we can find angle POX is equal to the balance of 180 degree. That means 180 minus 90. You will get 90. That's why you will get POX 90 degree. You have to write the why you have written that measurement. So anyway, POX is equal to 90 degree. So from the figure, it is very clear that POX is the sum of angle A and angle B. So 
angle A plus angle B is equal to angle P O X and the value of P O X we have find as 90 degree. So then next thing we have is the ratio between angle A and B. So the ratio between angle A and B is 2 is to 3. So using that how to find the value of A. So you to find the value of A we know A plus B is 90 degree. So out of this 90 degree you have to consider the ratio. This 2 is the number representing the part of A. You can see. So just listen to this ratio. This is using the property of ratio. This number 2 is representing the value of A. So 90 into you can multiply 90 with the 2 out of so in the ratio 2 and 3 is there so total parts in the ratio is 2 plus 5 sorry 2 plus 2 plus 3 so total parts in the ratio is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so 90 into 2 divided by 5 you will get 180 divided by 5 so you will get 36 degree is the measurement of a so you will get the value of a is 36 degree so using this value of a or let's find the value of b also if you know the value of a you can find the value of b in two ways the same way you can find a 90 into the part the part of b is represented using 3 so 3 out of 5 3 by 5 3 over 5 is equal to 270 divided by 5 so what will be the value 54 degree so using this any of the value a or b you can find the value of c so if you are using the value of uh, a you can find you can find the value of c let me write it uh, here angle c is equal to the first method which i have told is you are considering the vertical opposite angles so angle measurement of angle a and the measurement of angle p o y together you will get the measurement of angle c so using that we can find angle a plus angle p o y is equal to angle c so angle a how measurement we have find the angle measurement of angle a that is 36 36 plus angle p o y have measurement 90 degree so 90 plus 36 you will get 126 degree then you can find using the second method let me write it here using the second method angle c is equal to that is a sum of angle a and uh, that is a difference from or the uh, linear pair with a b and a. in second method we are considering this angle c as a uh, as a linear pair with a angle b so you can find the value of angle c by subtracting the measurement of angle c from 180 degree so you are subtracting angle b from c uh, from 180 degree that means 180 degree minus b what is the value of b we have find here that is 54 you are writing 54 and you are you are subtracting these two values you will get the answer 126 degree so that is some measurement of angle c so both the ways you can arrive at same answer that is the value of angle c is 126 degree now let's discuss the question number three in figure 6 15 15th figure of success chapter that is this figure angle pqr is equal to angle prq then prove that angle pqs equal to angle prt so we don't know what is the value of or what is exact measurement here but we know whatever be the measurement the measurements are same for these two angles which angles angle pqr means angle pqr is this angle and angle PRQ means this angle. These two angles have same measurement. 
then what we want to prove the angle pqs and angle prt are same angle pqs is this exterior angle of this triangle and the angle prt is this angle we have to prove whether they are same or not so this is given us there is we have to prove that is same uh, then that may be same whatever it is we have to prove that then how to prove this result we don't know what is the value of the angle given here that is angle uh, pqr we don't know what is the value of angle pqr let's take as f so angle pqr is equal to x degree so we know angle pqr and angle prq have same measurement so x degree is equal to angle prq so angle pqr is equal to angle prq is equal to the same measurement you are taking as x degree then what will be the measurement here if it is p r pqr is equal to x then angle pqr is equal to x means what is the value of angle pqs if pqr is equal to x then that implies we can write the value of angle pqs is the balance of 180 degree from pqr because they are linear pair okay then since they are linear pair you can write this as 180 degree minus angle pqr so you know the value of pqr is x 180 degree minus x is the measurement of angle pqs now we can find the value of prt we know the value of prq is equal to x degree and this figure it is very clear that angle prt is linear pair with the angle prq therefore you can find angle prt is equal to 180 degree minus x so that 180 degree minus x you will get the value of angle prt and this is clear that uh, this value 180 minus x degree and this value is same here also here in the value of pqs also the same value so you can write this is same as the value of angle pqs so angle pqs from this we can conclude that angle pq s is equal to angle prt is equal to 180 degree minus x degree both of them have same measurement now let's come through question number four in sixth uh, chapter 16th figure x plus y is equal to w plus z then prove that a o b is a line we have to prove a o b is a straight line so what are the things given x plus y and w plus z how same measurement so x plus y is given as like this and w and z are given like this so we can uh, consider this all things all these angle w x y z all completes a full rotation so that we can write whatever be the thing written here let's consider this figure and we can write x plus y plus z plus w x plus y plus z plus w so this is x this is y this is z and this is w this will complete a complete rotation or full circle so that its measurement is 360 degree because it is complete it become a complete angle okay so the reason is that is a complete angle next from here in this question it is given as x plus y y is equal to w plus z let's consider the statement which is given in the question let's write the statement which is given in the question x plus y is equal to w plus z 
and we don't know what is that equal value we don't know actually we don't know so we have to prove aob is a straight line if it is given as aob is a straight line we can consider or we can take w plus z or y plus x both have measurement 180 degree so we cannot write this measurement x plus y or w plus z we cannot take as 180 degree since it is not given as a b is a straight line that we have to prove then whatever be the uh, thing given whatever be the measurement of x plus y that is equal with the measurement of w plus z let's take that unknown value of their sum as x degree be the sum so if their sum is x degree we can add all these things x plus y plus w plus z what will be their value as per uh, the data given in this question so as per the data given in this question you have seen x plus y is x degree and w plus z is also x degree uh, don't get confused with this x i have used here okay let's take another i shall take uh, another uh, variable here that is let it be a degree okay so this each chart give the uh, value a each this is a degree and that is equal with another a degree here that is the meaning of the statement so i can write if i am adding this all i am adding a two times so this is same as here one a i have added then here second a i have added so a plus a is the answer here so that unknown value a plus a will give i will get 2a degree i will get 2a degree and the same thing we have written here the first statement as a complete angle we have written because then all completes a full rotation i have written this is 360 degree so i have written uh, this statement and this statement these two expressions have same same lhs so lhs of these two statements are same lhs are same of for the statement if i am giving the number for the statement this is statement one this is statement two lhs same for one and two so i can write 2a is equal to 360 degree from here i can solve the value of a a is equal to 360 degree divided by 2 that is equal to 180 degree so what i can conclude here as given in the question x plus y is equal with w plus z that is equal with the value of a i have marked the unknown value as a and the value of a we have calculated the value of that variable a is 180 degree so that we can find x and y and w and z are uh, supplementary or supplement each other so i can find uh, i can conclude that this aob is a straight line aob is a straight line that's why it is straight line that is a conclusion okay now let's discuss the question number five in 17th figure of sixth chapter that is six seven in 17th figure p o q is a line ray o r is perpendicular to line p q and o s is another ray lying between rays o p and o r so this much are things given and we have to prove this result okay let's think how to prove this result let's check the uh, figure given here so there is a ray uh, there is a straight line pq okay pq is given as a straight line and or is a perpendicular line that means that makes 90 degree angle in both sides so this is 90 degree as well as you can find another 90 degree on other side so this is also 90 degree that is angle por and roq both have measurement 90 degree then uh, this line os is a ray we have drawn simply between this between the angle por 
between the angle POR, we are simply drawing a ray OS. We don't know what is the measurement or what is the angle made here. So let's take that unknown value angle as X degree. If it is X degree, you can find that this measurement, this angle have measurement uh, balance of X degree from 90 degree. That means this I have marked in red color, this angle have measurement 90 minus X degree. Okay, then how to find or how to prove the result shown here. Anyway, I have the values 90 degree both sides uh, for the angle POR and angle ROQ and the unknown value I have taken as X degree. Then uh, using that I can mark the other value that is POS, the value of angle POS as 90 degree minus S because this total POR is 90 degree and this X is subtracted from that. From that I am subtracting X, I will get 90 minus X. Then I can find one more angle here. I can write the value of one more angle here. That is the value of this angle. Let me write, draw here. This is angle 90 degree plus X degree. 90 plus X degree because this much is 90. So arriving or we are adding 90 also into it, you will get a 90 plus X. So uh, instead of drawing all these things here, let me write all the measurements here in this figure. We have the angle, angle uh, ROQ, angle ROQ is equal to 90 degree and angle SOQ angle SOQ is equal to 90 degree plus X degree then uh, angle SOR angle SOR is equal to the unknown value X degree then angle SOP angle SOP is equal to 90 minus X degree and one more thing is that is uh, angle POR angle POR is equal to 90 degree this much data we can find out from the symbol figure okay so using that data given we can arrive at this much conclusions so actually what are the conclusions we needed to solve this question or to proving this result to prove something is equal, we have to just show the right hand side and left hand side will uh, prove, will satisfy the inequality. Left hand side, we have to first calculate what is left hand side, left hand side. Then we have to cal uh, check what is right hand side. Then compare between left hand side and left hand side, right hand side and left hand side. If they were uh, satisfying the equality, we can say that the equation is true. So that is the thing we have to prove here. Let's take LHS. So LHS of this expression is angle ROS. What is angle ROS? We can see in this figure ROS or uh, from this uh, thing we have uh, written here angle ROS or SOR is equal to X degree. Angle ROS is equal to or you can directly take it from the figure angle ROS is equal to x degree then what is right hand side that is left hand side right hand side is given as half of half of uh, what is given inside the bracket angle q o s minus angle p o s so that is equal with we can put the values which we have half of angle q o s look on q o Yes. So we have written the value of QOS here that is this one. This is angle QOS or SOQ is 90 degree plus X degree. So angle QOS have value 90 plus X minus angle POS. What is angle POS? Angle POS that is balance of 90 degree from POR. That is uh, 90 degree uh, that is uh, 
90 minus x degree so minus 90 minus x degree let's write the value uh, with the uh, in next step so let's solve this 90 plus x i am distributing this negative sign inside this bracket mm, negative 90 plus x so this negative is uh, distributed with the positive value you will get a negative 90 this negative with this negative you will get a positive x so all together you will get half of 90 plus x minus 90 plus x from here you can see same negative and positive values will cancel so this 90 is positive 90 and this is negative 90 that will cancel each other so the balance you will get here as 2x half into 2x so that is 2x divided by 2 you will get x so that you will get rhs is equal to s as well as lhs already you got as x so this will happen in uh, all the cases that means if you simply have a line and another line is perpendicular then if you are simply drawing this line has to be perpendicular with the this ray has to be perpendicular you can simply draw a line then this inequality will hold that means if you naming like this if it is now let's discuss the question number six it is given that angle xyz is equal to 64 and xy is produced to point p draw a figure from the given information so no figure is given here here with regards with relate to this question number six there is no figure we have to construct the figure so what is the information given we have to use this information given so there is an angle xyz and another line uh, or the uh, part of that angle that is a side of or an arm of that angle x y is produced to point p so we have to draw a figure using this and one another thing is given y q by x angle z y p and angle x y q and reflex angle q y p okay let's start how to let's think how to draw and let's try to draw that so x y z uh, we are drawing a rough figure uh, just Think this imagine that a 64 degree that is uh, an acute angle so you can draw an acute angle this is not an exact measurement i am simply drawing this this is suppose it is angle x y z okay x and this is y and this is z then x y is produced to point p so yeah, we are uh, extending that line x y and this line is extended and we meeting this at the point p so the point p is here then this is a figure then what are the things given uh, if ray yq bisects this ray yq bisects what is that yp we don't know where is q so anyway is that yp okay we know is that yp that is the angle here so this is the angle z by p i am uh, using this pink color i am marking z by p is this one this is y so this is z by p then yq is bisecting that that means this angle is being bisected by uh, a line segment z by p let me write uh, y here i am writing y here and another straight line that is the name of the straight line is yq and that is bisecting this so i am drawing like this so this is the bisector so the end point of that uh, line is q that's why this is called yq so this yq is bisecting these two that means uh, this angle this line segment yq is making this angle into two equal parts so this uh, p y q and q y z have same measurement so these two angles have same measurement that's why it's a bisector y q is a bisector then angle x y q uh, angle uh, y q bisects z y p find x y q we have to find x y q where is x y q x y q this is x y q 
let me mark x y q this is x y q we have to find this angle this angle which i have marked in red color x y q and reflex q y p q y p reflex q y p means not this angle the reflex of q y p so the other side of q y p you are directly seeing this as q y p but the other side of q y p is this side so you have to find the reflex q y p this angle so i have marked two angles using red color these two angles i have to find first is angle x y q and second angle is q y p q y p reflex okay how to find these all angles which angle is given that is x y z is given and this angle x y z is given this angle is 64 degree let me mark that 64 degree this angle how mark this angle how measurement 64 degree and uh, the angles x y q we have to find look at the angle x y q so this angle so how to find uh, the angle x y q so we can concentrate on the angle x y q let's concentrate on the angle x y q and think any clue is there this is angle uh, x uh, we have to find uh, find x x y q yes x y q this angle so concentrate on angle x y q x y q is actually the sum of uh, x y z and z y q so uh, let's start from this question x y q we want to find so whatever we know about x y q from the figure is that x y q is equal with the sum of sum of this x y z sum of this x y z and uh, z y q angle x y z plus angle z y q so uh, you know the value of x y z is known we know the value of x y z so angle x y z is equal to 64 degree that is from the question plus angle z y q we don't know this is angle z y q so what is the measurement of angle z y q we don't know but we know one thing angle y q is a bisector so angle by y q is actually dividing angle uh, p y z into two equal parts then what about angle p y z angle p y z and angle z y x how uh, are giving the sum 180 degree because they are linear pair okay let's come from let's start from here angle z y q angle z y q we don't know so simply we are taking this unknown value as x degree so angle z y q how the same measurement as that of angle q y p and we are writing angle z y q is equal to angle z y q is equal to angle q y p both are x degree each the reason is they were bisector this y uh, y q is a bisector is bisector of bisector of this angle yq bisect z yp that is given from the question yq bisect z yp bisector of angle z yp angle z yp yq is a bisector of z yp so z yp is divided into z yp is divided into two equal parts okay so this both have measurement x degree so we know z y q and z uh, z y p z y p plus z y x or x y z together gives 180 degree let's write that also angle z y p plus angle x y z together gives measurement 180 degree and among this z y p 
we know that is z by b look at the figure z by b that is sum of z by q and q by p so i can write this z by p as so i am writing here angle z by p is actually the sum of you can see the same thing in the figure angle z by p is this angle so you can see this from the figure angle z by p is the sum of angle z by q plus angle q y p so this two together gives angle z y p and z y q and q y p how same measurement are that is x degree that is uh, written here z y q and q y p how same measurement that is x degree so you can write that as x plus x that is equal to 2x 2x is the measurement of angle z y p z y p is 2x degree and x y z is 64 degree so you can write 2x plus 2x plus 64 is equal to 180 degree this implies you can write uh, 2x is equal to you can solve 2x that is 180 degree minus 64 180 minus 64 you will get the that is 116 so x is equal to 116 divided by 2 that is 58 degree 58 degree is the measurement of x then uh, angle z y p how the measurement or uh, 116 degree and x the half of this how measurement half of z y p how measurement 58 degree so we are finding uh, x y q as x we have sold as 58 so we can continue this question continue the solution here 64 plus 64 plus 58 is equal to 122 degree and what is uh, reflex q y p reflex q y p is the sum of these all angles this actually this is a, a total if it is an in total that is a complete angle so that is uh, x smaller than x less than complete angle that is this is this much is x degree so you can write this since this much is x degree this is x fewer than 360 degree so the reflex angle uh, you can write the final answer final answer means the reflex angle qyp is also has to find reflex angle qyp is equal to 360 is the total degree 360 is a measurement of complete angle minus x degree minus x so the value of x we have calculated as 58 so 360 minus 58 so this is equal to 302 degree so that is a measurement of qyp that is 302 degree and the value of x y q x y q is 122 degree so that's the answer of this